Yo, yo, it's ODB. This is ODB's Corner. Back with another video. Thanks for checking this out here. Look up OLP via any podcast app if you want to hear more. We're eight plus years uh, strong. Uh, this video, as you maybe saw from the thumbnail, wanted to give a huge shout out uh, to the Mini Truck Hall of Fame Committee. Uh, Bob Hayes, although he announced that he was stepping down, he did get these made uh, for the committee members, which was a nice little uh, thing that Bob did. And uh, it does show all of the inductees as well. We'll talk about one of those now. But I had an opportunity this year to meet Lance Martz. Lance was the, he was the editor of the magazine from May 99 issue through August of 05. It's a pretty long run, 76 issues. During Lance's tenure, there were actually five subculture vehicles on the cover. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Lance, of course, being in subculture, one of the founders, if not the founder of subculture. It was pretty cool to get a chance to meet him. Now, I, I knew it would be a unique opportunity uh, to get, be able to slap hands and, and say what up to Lance. I had been around Lance at shows many years ago. We're talking show fest and things like that while he was shooting features. He shot my friend um, Chris's Izuzu at the time. Back in the day, he shot his Izuzu there in Greenville that ran in Truck and Magazine, if I remember correctly. But uh, being that Lance lives on the West Coast, I believe it's like Oregon, Washington area, I knew that I probably wouldn't have an opportunity to probably link up with him anytime soon. It was pretty cool. Not only was Lance being voted in, uh, his good friend Charles Armstrong, a.k.a. The Kid. Uh, if you haven't seen my recent video about that, please uh, check it out here on the channel. And Chris Billy Bob Mole, he also was inducted in. And Chris's truck was one of those five trucks that I mentioned in Subculture that were on that was on the cover during Lance's tenure. The reason why I mention that is oftentimes the editors were typecasted, or I don't know if typecast is the right word. They were uh, fingers were pointed to say, "Oh, they only run the their club members' rides." And I briefly spoke with Lance about this at the Hall of Fame, and Lance said hey, for anybody's truck that was going to be on the cover, it had to be a complete truck. And he said, if, if the people were in the club that I'm in uh, or the club that I started or, or helped head up, he said, certainly, it, you know, it had to be the best of the best. And when you think about that, you had Alex Gomez's Mazda Cap Plus, Chris Billy Bob Mole's truck, the uh, Mike White's, um, the, the, uh, the dog sled, which was on the construction zone, Charles the Kid Armstrong, and then Brent's Toyota which was the truck that um, Far From Losing that uh, Tom Jenkins now owns. So those were the five trucks during Lance's tenure. So I'll get to the meat and potatoes of the video. Uh, this was the mini truck and magazine that Lance helped project manage. This was August 04. So if you think about it, this is almost 20 years ago. This was Project Desert Dragger. And... I was trying to think of an issue to have Lance sign. You can see there he did sign this one. And uh, this was the one that came to mind because, you know, Lance, um, in, in his little speech that he did, he kind of talked about he was the guy behind the scenes that was making a lot of other people kind of, quote, famous, right? Uh, you know, he'd shoot a truck, was on the cover. That person would kind of propel to the top of the mini trucking world, if you will. But I thought Lance did a great job. Uh, it was cool that the kid, Charles Armstrong, he did the introduction, so that was awesome as well, and he was getting voted in, as I mentioned. But um, what Lance wrote here was Lance Martz, 1995, and then he drew an arrow to 2005. It is important to note that although he was the editor from May 99 to August 05, he did work f within that uh, world for uh, a few years. He put the work in for those four years, give or take, and if I remember correctly, his editorials would also appear in Truckin'. I remember reading those um, from, as well as from other folks that were, uh, quote, staff at that time. So I want to thank Lance, if he happens to see this, for signing this issue. Um, I just do it because I like to frame some of these. I've got only a handful of mini Truckin' magazines that were ever signed. 
but certainly, you know, ODB's mindset. I like to have some of these things I collect and whatnot. So that one will go in a frame. This was an extra issue that I had. It wasn't uh, part of the, uh, the, the batch uh, that are in the booklets. Uh, and the reason for that, as I mentioned, is uh, if I happen to have multiple copies, I'll take the nicer of the copies that and will go in the actual collection. It could be a copy without um, the address or name on it. Uh, it may be a copy that uh, just looks better visually, so uh, with you know less damage. But this is a really, really good copy as well. Uh, so I wanted to mention that again. Thanks to Lance Martz. He was the editor for 76 issues. As we get through all of the flip throughs that I'm doing here on YouTube for Mini Truck and Magazine, we'll talk a little bit more and we'll slice and dice some of the counts uh, in the years, the 10 years, if you will, from the different editors of the, the magazine. For those that don't know, Mini Truck and Magazine is making a comeback. I think it's minitruckandmagazine.net is the new official website. And um, that team that is bringing the magazine back. Uh, obviously is going to pay homage to the legacy of the magazine, but they're going to focus on the future as well. So I don't want to speak for them, but uh, shout out to great people. And I'd love to continue to partner with them in any way that we can help them. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is I did bring this copy out. Um, I did want to have Rob Maji uh, sign it. This is crew cut. For those that did not know, Rob was the owner of this truck. Um, it was West side, also known as West side. Um, and it turned into crew cut. And I think our podcast, we've documented o almost every single angle of this truck from the inception of it being built as West side, the transformation, uh, that Sean Mahaney rest in peace talked about with, uh, it going to crew cut. Yes, it was the same truck. And then of course, from there, 20 years ago to the day, we had Joey and Heather. Heather actually won this truck at Cal Truck Jam 01 back in August of 01. And uh, from there, it kind of had a storied franch or franchise, if you will, but a storied history that led on to Gas Monkey. And of course, now Dave Shulman now owns it. Now, unfortunately, Rob was not able to make the event. Um, I believe Bob Hayes summed it up well. Uh, he had some construction that was going on, I think, in Colorado and uh, some different things that he just could not get out of. And I know that Rob sent his love to everybody. We've also had Rob Maggi on. I can't thank him enough. Of course, he was the owner of Master Image Customs, a.k.a. MIC. So check us out if you haven't via any podcast app. I'm working on right now batching all of the recent episodes, I think the last 100 or so, um, over to the YouTube channel. So... In the very near future, most of those will be housed. Anything that has copyrighted music, those usually will get erased. Uh, not from existence, but if you want to go back and listen to anything that's not available on YouTube due to any kind of early music and copyright deals I was using, uh, certainly download Podbean uh, via your Android or iPhone device and simply search OLP. You will see our famous artwork there by Graphic Disorder hit follow, hit subscribe, and check us out. Uh, we went four straight years of every Friday, and this year we are doing a bi-weekly show. So from ODB, they give you Mike the Mayor, who's out gallivanting, I believe, right now on another vacation, although it is his wedding anniversary. Thank you guys for all the support. Rob Maji, congrats for being inducted into the Mini Truck Hall of Fame for the shop. The company, Master Image Customs, that you helped create, that you helped, that you owned. And shout out to Lance Martz. Again, the editor, 76 issues. That's a lot of work. He helped grow the magazine worldwide with different features. He brought us MT Graffiti, also known as Mini Truck and Graffiti. Stay on the rise, everyone. ODB. Yachia. Peace.